And we're watching what's left of Tropical Storm Flossie. Now a tropical depression off the coast of Hawaii. It went uh, right near the Big Island yesterday. Now it's centered about 65 miles uh, to the northwest of Oahu and uh, Honolulu. And uh, also on Maui, there were some big problems with flight delays yesterday. Uh, the storm affecting uh, residents in the Hawaiian Islands, but also travelers from the Bay Area. We had several canceled flights. Crown Force Jackie Sissel live at SFO uh, with more on uh, Hawaiian travelers this morning. Jackie? Good morning, Mark. Yeah, things are actually looking much better this morning than they did yesterday. For people who are going to the islands, I can't say so much for people that are coming home. Now, yesterday, uh, as part of uh, Tropical Depression Flossie precaution, many flights were canceled. About a half dozen or more flights were canceled. In fact, United canceled all of its flights uh, going into the Hawaiian Islands, two to Honolulu, or three to Honolulu, two to Maui, and one to Kona. Now, it's a different story story this morning the good news is is that according to the board right now all the flights leaving are on time and scheduled to go but you can see here these are the arriving flights coming in from the islands three of those flights have been canceled so if you have somebody who's coming home from a Hawaiian vacation today you better call the carrier because it sounds like there may either be cancellations or major delays now as I said yesterday more than a half dozen flights were canceled we had a chance to talk to one frustrated traveler. I just went to three different lines. I just spent the last 90 minutes from one line where they said we had a reservation to another line that said we didn't have a reservation to a third line that said I'm on standby for another reservation. So it looks like the soonest I'm getting out of here is midnight tomorrow and that's standby. Now, the way I understand it, Mark, is that the tropical depression is basically going through the islands now or kind of towards the tail end, which means they're still being affected on the islands. That's why the flights that are departing the islands arriving near SFO are being affected. They're going ahead and letting the flights that are leaving SFO go over because obviously it's going to take five or six hours to get there. But the best bet, and we always say it, call the carrier, get online, check the flight schedule, make sure that uh, your flight is not affected. Mark? All right, Jackie, thanks for the update in the Maui airport reopened around 11 o'clock our time last night.